Ahoy, you scurvy, scurvy dogs. It's the Curse Captain Hippo TC here, and in this video, I'm gonna break down all the highlights that you need to know for the new update for Sea of Thieves, The Ashen Winds. There is a whole lot of improvements to the game, combat, accessibility, and we get to see a new encounter against the Ashen Lords. So grab yourself a grog and let's jump into the video. First, let's talk about the Ashen Lords and the new big tornado that we see in the sky. It looks like the treachery of Stitcher Jim and the efforts of all those pirates duped into helping him. Reapers, we are looking at you. Flameheart is now able to raise up the most loyal of his followers, the fiery Ashen Lord themselves. To challenge these Ashen Lords, look to the skies and the ominous twisting tornado on the horizon. This will let you know that their presence is in the seas. These Lords have no puny weapons though and will hurl freaking fire rocks, repel pirates with their Ashen Curse Arm, and you may think you're safe at a distance, but these scurvy dogs are quick on their feet and can quickly lunge toward any challengers. And if all that wasn't enough, these scurvy dogs breathe fire causing the world around them to be engulfed in darkness so make sure you do your best to dodge that defeating these ashen lords will result in some beautiful treasure and the skull from the ashen lord themselves that you can use to well it breathes fire so i'll let you scurvy dogs imagine what it can be used for i will be dropping a full guide on taking on these ashen lords very soon so be sure to keep an eye out for that when this new update brings us new commendations as well as new achievements we can earn and this update we see some new events if the daily bounties and gold rush multiplier hours weren't enough we now have what is called skull sweep earn raise rewards for order of souls activities every wednesday as the skeleton and smashing sages clean up the seas. Now, in the Pirate Emporium, we have a lot going on. In celebration of Rare's 35th anniversary, everything is going on sale. Well, not everything, but the Rare Heritage ships are now on sale, so head over to the Pirate Emporium to grab the bargain. We also see a free emote, Ash and Curse pets, Cracking Cat outfits, a storytelling bundle, new character emotes bundle, and a whole crap ton of other things. Honestly, just go check it out. Lots of new shinies to look at. That includes the black market. So Duke has some new items for us there as well. Now let's talk about some gameplay improvements. The biggest and most important thing we need to talk about is when on board a ship, both melee and range weapons are now prevented from dealing damage through surfaces on the ship, which means now you can literally duck and cover, giving an edge to the pirates with some fancy footwork and maybe a sword. We also see a storage crate full of food, wood, and cannonballs dropping if you defeat a skeleton ship. Skeleton fort waves appear much faster after the horn has been sounded. You can swap between emotes while in an emote, making it easier to do another emote. And you can mute your voice chat with a simple keybind. All of these changes are just touching the surface of what's in this update. We have a ton of accessibility changes coming too. You can now play with a single stick on your controller, auto center your camera, auto float, and a few other great changes that will help a lot of players out there. Now let's talk combat. We seeing improvements to melee hit registration with both attacking and defending players if they are swimming or on the surface of the water. Rare also has done some revision on the ship geometry of the sloop to improve hit registration we also get some hit registration improvements when attacking rival players if they're on the shipyard's arms and we see a few minor improvements for projectiles between server and client prediction when shooting rival players so thank the whale lord we are seeing continual improvements to the infamous hit reg that is out there all in all the ash and wind brings a lot of gameplay accessibility and overall improvements to the sea of thieves and we get an awesome new encounter with the ashen lords what are you most excited for make sure to let me know in the comments below and if you enjoy watching some good old-fashioned pvp sneaks and steals definitely check out my twitch as i stream regularly over there thanks for watching mates and i hope to see you out on the seas.